War requires things of us and taps into parts of us that never otherwise touch, never otherwise we would touch. Things most people need to work through or want to forget. U.S. military personnel do not take killing lightly, and everyone who has not been there simply cannot discuss it with those who have, uh, much less pass judgment. Listen quietly. They choose to talk. If not, otherwise, leave it alone. OAF, OIF veterans often want to go back to the war zone. Sometimes it's because they feel the call to go to finish the mission or support their buddies. Something. Sometimes it's they feel they can no longer fit into the American society and it is uh, frivolous interest and fads. But regardless of the reason, it is fairly common. So if they tell you they're planning on redeploying, please don't look at them as if they're insane. Combat situation, a lot of times you deal with stress by some uncommon thing. Make jokes about it, disengage it, get, you know, get amongst yourselves, stay amongst yourselves. And whenever you don't have a cohesive unit, now you're out amongst civilians. We all have individuality in the civilian. In the military, we have individuality, but it's subordinate to the unit. The unit identity is more important <coughs> to us. So it is all about the mission, taking care of the mission, taking care of our bodies left and right, men and women. That's all they live and breathe is the mission and taking care of each other. They get out here and it's all individuals. So some support groups are existing, but I will tell you myself, even though I look old enough, I'm not a VFW goer. I buy or pay my dues and stuff like that, but I'm not a VFW goer because I don't want to sit down there and talk about the great wars and stuff like that and have a few beers and talk about whatever is going on because it's just not <coughs> our cup of tea from that generation or from the newer generation. And it's not for my younger troops especially. 